So this is my review of a Colorado cylinder stove. Uh, this one is the Timberland package. Um, I have it set up here inside my Cabela's uh, Bullhorn 3 tent. Um, it does a very good job uh, keeping it warm. Uh, right now it's about oh, 24 degrees or so outside. The wind has been blowing pretty heavy um, for the last 24 hours. And uh, it is nice and warm in here. Um, check the, the thermometer in a minute, but I, I'd say it's probably up around 70, 74 degrees in here. Um, even with this tent having all sorts of uh, ventilation um, up at the top and, and along the sides there. Um, this is uh, first time using the stove for this extended period. I'm at deer camp here. Um, been staying in the tent for a little over a week now. Um, been uh, heating the tent with the stove, been cooking a lot on the stove, and uh, it's really worked out well. Um, I did put some rocks underneath it to try to radiate some of that heat. So at two, three o'clock in the morning, when the fire goes out, it keeps it a little bit warmer in here. Uh, but overall, uh, it'll hold heat and hold a fire with it dampered way down for a good four or five hours. And I know I could probably get even more out of that um, if I used a little bit better wood. I'm just using kind of some some uh, dead, uh, standing dead and some dry, uh, real dry stuff that's been laying around the woods out here. Um, so it is a Timberland package, so it's plenty big enough for this size tent. Um, I could probably have gotten away with even a smaller size for this uh, 12 by 14 tent, but um, bigger is always better, I guess. So very nice, uh, solidly made. It does have the warming shelf on the side, which I highly recommend getting the whole package. But um, if nothing else, get the warming shelf. It's a nice place to put things like this where right now the stove is real hot, but this is... I can still still handle this. It's not uh, not too hot. Um, I did get the water jacket for the other side. Um, haven't actually used it yet to heat water. I uh, just think it looks cool. I know they say you're not supposed to leave it on there without water in it. Um, but uh, it's uh, the way it is. Actually, there's a big sticker right on the top, but I, I don't always follow directions. Um, right now, it's got a fire going pretty good in it. Um, just got back in from the morning hunt and just trying to warm it up. So it does have uh, kind of this baffle cover on the front here, which is nice. Keeps sparks and that from flying right out, and I'm sure it helps with uh, it drawing the uh, air in there. Uh, it does have a coal grate, which is probably kind of hard to see right now because I've been burned pretty much straight for a week. So it's about time to get it, uh, get it cleaned out. It has really nice, I don't know if you can see it uh, in the top there with the flames going, but does have some really nice bridging and bracing across the top. Uh, keep it from warping with all those real hot fires. You can put the uh, the warming tray on either side. Same thing with the water jacket. So I guess you could get uh, put them on on either side or get uh, two of either one and put a water jacket on each side or a, a warming tray on each side. Um, the legs thread into the bottom. Um, they have a little bit of movement in the thread, so if you're on real uneven ground, you can kind of level it out a little bit. Um, they thread out uh, and in pretty easily. Uh, everything, including the stovepipe, does store inside. Uh, it's the nesting stovepipe. Um, goes up, uh, oh, I don't know how many feet tall it is. I guess probably about 12 feet or so. Um, probably says in the package, but I don't recall. Um, the whole kit, the whole package uh, with the water jacket and everything weighs about 92 pounds. So it is pretty hefty to, to get in and, and get moved around, but um, it's real heavy steel, so it holds the heat real well. Um, I do recommend getting one of those little eco fans that did not come with the package, was not part of it, but it really helps to circulate the air. It doesn't use any electricity or anything like that. Uh, the other thing I would highly recommend would be a uh, stove cap, the six inch stove cap. Um, when I first got this kit, I had the tent set up um, with, uh, without that, and we got some pretty heavy rain, and the stove filled right up with rain, filled right up with water, and I came into the tent, and there was water coming out of these holes here, because um, was the, the stove was just completely full. So put the 6-inch rain cap on there, um, fit on real snug, no issues, um, and I haven't, uh, we had some really heavy rain here the other day. And I didn't, I didn't have any issues like that. Um, the tent seals really nice around the uh, the stovepipe there. 
and um, haven't had any issues with that stove pipe getting super red hot or anything of course that has to do with how you you get your fire going in there but um, overall it's a, it's a great stove it's a great product it does really well heating this particular tent um, I have no doubt that it would heat an even bigger tent um, without issue so highly recommend it uh, the people over at Colorado cylinder stove are really great to deal with um, Wes, the owner over there, is a real, real nice guy. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement by any means. Um, paid 100% full price for the stove and everything. And now, uh, not, not getting anything out of the review. I just know there's not a whole lot of information out there um, as far as uh, YouTube videos and that go about this particular stove. And uh, this time of year, especially, people are uh, looking to see how they can extend their their season and uh, and camping or, or hunt camps or, or what have you. So I'm um, looking forward to using this the rest of this hunting season uh, for another month or so here in Michigan. And um, I'm sure we'll use it for some uh, winter camping in, in January and February as well and be real comfortable in here. Um, so definitely the way to go. Would also recommend getting uh, this particular uh, uh, blanket on the ground here. It's just a wool uh, fire retardant blanket. I got it on Amazon for I think 20 bucks. Um, really highly recommend that I know they do make a stove mat um, that you can put underneath or behind it I'm sure that works just as well uh, I think they want about 60 bucks for those and I'm sure that probably even works better but it's not quite as big as this and I had some pretty uh, good size glowing embers uh, big you know chunks of wood come out of there um, when I was loading it and messing around and they landed right on the, the this here and you know you can kind of see a little bit where they landed but they certainly didn't burn through uh, whether you get something like this or the mat that's made for it I highly recommend getting something um, excuse me to put down uh, underneath and, and or in front of it so uh, that's that's all there is to it um, please like and ask any questions I've been using it for a little while now so I'm pretty familiar with it and uh, right now I got it cranking in here um, because it's it's pretty windy out and I just kind of got that fire back going but in the evening before I go to bed I put it all the way down to just about there so there's just a tiny little bit of air intake and between that and around the door it draws real nice and uh, like I said even with with not the best wood it um, it'll hold a, a fire in there for for a good good five hours um, usually wake up uh, around 2 2 30 in the morning throw a couple logs in there or there's still plenty of hot coals and uh, crawl back into the cot for another couple hours before getting up for the day and uh, it's it's still plenty warm in here so let me know if you have any questions and uh, hopefully you can pick one of these up and enjoy uh, camping a little bit later into the season